All right, so we got both 520s in the shop today. Cole, which I know y'all remember him, had the yellow 450. Finally got him a, a, a 520. I got him to upgrade finally. And this is my old radiator. Gave it to him for, for a little something to keep his radiator out of the mud and stuff. And so he could do a snorkel and not cut his plastics like I did on mine. Because mine's getting redone also. This one's going away. I'm going to miss my stickers. But I'm just going to have a hole in my plastic because I'm doing a center snorkel. Uh, we've already put the radiator on his. I didn't see a sense of making a video on that because I've already got one. But I am making a, a video on a radiator because Recluse sent me one right here to do a video on. So the radiator, I mean, it's pretty much like any other radiator you see, I reckon. But I got the youtube channel engraved in it so it says honda bros and then the sides will say recluse of course brand name and then if you just get a base radiator this expanded metal comes black if you just get the base but you can get it you know you can get any custom cuts cut into them it doesn't have to be this little crossbar right here with words in it you can get this or you can get like a, a solid a solid face plate with like your state or anything you want cut into it you can get cut into it i just chose to go this way and then get the expanded metal uh i, I sent it and got it powder coated the silver to match the well i don't have the plastics in here but on my four-wheeler the uh on the side plastic it has the rubicon sticker that goes down i got this to match so this will just sit behind this like so like that and kind of make the honda bros pop instead of just matching all black uh, it's pretty basic hardware i mean you get a double-sided threaded a double thread or i don't know threaded yeah a, a, a double-sided uh, thread bolt pretty much that's going to go from your radiator to the side right here to hold the radiator up and then of course you would replace your grommets if you want to end up detail on how to install a radiator just go check out my radiator installation video and ignore the fact that i say that nt nt n2 deep radiators don't have fans and other things like that because it's not true and i was unknowledgeable but these little you get these little square bolt or small bolts which mounts the face plate to the side arms and then of course your u-bolts is what mounts the the whole or shebang to the, to the yeah the, the little racks. side plates to the racks and then you get a nice little recluse sticker recluse off-road sticker uh that's pretty much all that comes in the kit of course which of course you get your your uh hose but i already have it on mine so there's no sense in using it on mine so when i gave cole that radiator i just gave him the hose and the way the recluse does it you just replace the whole hose with one new hose he just sends you one hose and you you run it cut it and then run the other one and cut it so it's all one solid hose instead of two pieces like the one that the wild boar comes with so my brackets are already cut you got to cut the side brackets right here from where it mounts to the top of the uh mountain side um the way i do this bottom one so it doesn't kink is you just cut a hole right here and then open this and cut another hole in the bottom and just run it straight up through like so which you can't really see where's the flashlight at there it is so it'll run just like so you can see mine's two piece from the wild board but it runs up into the bottom of this so-called dry box and then it comes out of the lid so that's pretty simple um yeah well i think we're, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and put this face plate together because that's how we did his we just left the whole we just built the the whole kit on the ground and uh that way you could tighten these up without the radiator being in, being in there and then you just set the radiator in there and put the bolts in it and then set it on the rack and center it up and then you bolt it to the rack and it's pretty pretty quick and easy i reckon i reckon i'll just get back to you when uh i get the face plate mounted to the arms because it's just literally four four bolts you just set this It'll come, I don't know if you can tell, but the like the little cutouts, one's gonna be skinnier than the other. So like if you can tell, like these sit perfectly 
in between these and then these shorter ones will sit in between these two holes so that's how that'll go and then it'll just clamp down in between this so i just get back to y'all when uh we get that mounted up it's just these four bolts two washers a washer on each side pretty simple all right all right so it's kind of like <laughs> i think a week later since the last part of the video y'all seen um where i left off if i'm not mistaken was i had put the radiator together or i was going to come back to you when i put the radiator together so i got the radiator put together um got the radiator put on also it's kind of self-explanatory i mean it's, it's no different than really any other radiator basically putting together so you can always just go watch my other video on how to put it together like i said earlier um i'll just show you what it looks like on and this this disregard the winch cable i've been trying to fix that i've replaced the relay and all that or the connector is what it's called on the box but didn't work so the motor and the winch is bad so i got one of them on order they'll be here wednesday so just gonna have to bear with the winch rope for right now i've been trying to fix it for forever just having no luck so but this is the radiator on the four wheeler i got like i said like you seen before i got this powder coated to, to match the the rubicon on the side here and then the snorkel I, I, i'm gonna have another video coming out on this because i had somebody comment wanting a, a video for for snorkel but this is pretty much how it turned out i mean from here down is all white pvc you can see right there it's all white pvc and then I painted the 245s here to match the radiator and the Rubicon. And then it's black PVC coming up to a, a tip that's painted silver also. I'm going to redo this part because that was just freehand cut. But I want to use the actual chop saw to cut that piece. And then sit on the forward. All the vent lines. Nice and neat. But off that topic, back to the radiator usually what i would recommend is the piece that goes right here for your radiator fill and all that i would cut holes in it you cut a hole here and then cut a small hole with like a, a half inch drill bit for the uh the radiator connector a lot of people send extra wire with them but you, you really don't need it i mean as you see i got plenty of slack on this thing then u-bolts go on the bar right there of course u-bolt goes under washer nut tighten it down then these are a double-sided threaded bolt and then they have bolts on the inside and the outside and then here i gotta tighten it up a little bit same on the other side and then the front of course goes over the front bar you got the double-sided or not double-sided but the u-bolts washer nut um side plates go on then the, the expanded metal goes on and then the face plate goes on and then you bolt this it's just short bolts with a washer and a nut i recommend putting the cage together first it makes it a lot easier because once you say you're to put it together put the radiator in there and then try to tighten these bolts right here down it becomes a pain in the butt because you got this plate here so you're having to get under the, the tops ain't really that bad tighten down it's these right here that are aggravating because you can't get nothing down in here to get to it because if, i don't know if you can see but right here the radiator comes all the way down to pretty much under this bolt so i recommend to put it on first and then put the radiator in don't forget to put your factory uh, rubber grommets in there so the radiator can sit into those uh i gotta get a plate made right now i'm just using zip ties for this weekend it's pretty sturdy i do wish i had that little middle piece though Got a hole in my snorkel now. Um, what else? Still got to put my skid plate back on, but I moved the uh, moved the seat back, speaker back a little bit, so we got a little more room. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else. Uh, they do a uh, a reservoir delete, so I just got. I can't remember what size vent line now i'd have to go look at it. i think it's like three eighths or something like that inner diameter or something something of that nature maybe a quarter i'm not positive right a second but 
I just took one of the factory clamps off of uh, the vent lines under here and put it on that because when it gets hot, this gets soft. So that'll help keep it on there. But you want to put like the tightest vent line you can on it to, to help it from sliding off when it gets hot. But I just ran it down, ran it under the behind this bar right here, and then ran it under and then brought it back up and zip tied it to the other vent line that that comes off of uh, the fan right here. The vent line that comes off the fan, I zip tied it to the, the uh, fill vent line and then ran them both up the same way. So you always wanna make sure you do that. I mean, a lot of people plug the fan, uh, the fan vent line, but I just rather, I, I, I seem to run it, just be safe. Um, oh, and recluse's uh, heater hoses, these right here that your coolant comes in, it's all one piece. It's gonna come in all one spool. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your factory hose off that runs to your motor. You just unscrew it, take it, throw it in the trash. And then you're gonna run all new hose up, cut it the length, and then use the access for the other side, the lower side, and run it all one new piece up and it's gonna come out. I recommend to cut a hole, because last time I ran it out of this in my other video, don't don't do it like that i would cut a hole in the plastic down here just drill it i don't know if you can see it uh you should be able to, should be close to seeing it but i would just run a hole through the plastic and then bring it up that way you have more of a straight on instead of having like having it come out of here and run to the front and then bend up it works better like that disconnect your front headlight pod because it's no longer going to be of any use so you can do something like tint it or spray paint it black or just disconnect it, whatever. And then you could eventually use it to like bolt a light bar on the top right here and then run the power wire under the four wheeler plastics and come up behind the headlight and then wire it into your factory brights. And that way when you cut your headlights on, your headlights come on and then you cut your brights on, then the light bar comes on. That's what I'm thinking about doing later on. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Recluse the new stickers, add it to the build list since I've already got his headlights. Headlights held up perfect so far. Uh, just when you put the radio on, radiator on, it's just going to take some adjusting and working with to, to get it to fit perfect. Because, I mean, they're all different, so you just got to sit there and don't get frustrated. I mean, all of them are like that wild boar just to get it perfect and straight on the bars and where it looks perfect just take some working so don't get frustrated with that hey man i like your shirt i like that shirt and that hat where'd the hat come from Ooh. okay okay wait a minute got the rubicon dude i don't know who uh whose shirt that is but it is pretty nice i guess i can go and tell you too uh i'm not wearing my hat right now i left it in the loader at work but he's got his hat I'm doing hats like those. The, we're gonna have gray Richardson's with red stitching. And then I'm gonna make some also for like the yellow Rubicons. Do the gray hat with the with yellow stitching. And then shirts have the red Rubicon with a darker gray. They're, they're kind of sweating a little bit right now, but it says Rubicon on it with the Honda symbol. And then the back, of course you've seen has YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. If you ain't following, go follow, subscribe. Um, we're going to try to do a different variation of color on this shirt too. Maybe do different color shirts or something of that nature. Um, don't know yet. They're not for sale yet. We just kind of made it for us while we're riding and see how they go. I've got, I mean, I've got people that want to buy some, but nothing, nothing too big right now or nothing too crazy. Just something small, something to have. Something that we can go get muddy and not really care about. Of course, the hats ain't going to get muddy right now, but... Hats are, I'd like to make some like Honda and then have like talon under them and then have like the green, the red, and like the gray, do like a darker gray hat with the blue stitching with the gray and blue ones or the darker gray and red or something like that. I don't know, I've got some ideas. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, if, if people start really wanting them, I'll, uh, I'll start making them because I've got somebody that can make them and I've already paid for the Honda logos and all that. So we'll see how that goes. But getting the camper hooked up, Getting folders hooked up, loaded up, getting ready to go to Fat Daddy's today. So I plan to upload this video tonight. And then if you see this video tonight, we are at Fat Daddy's tonight. 
and we'll be there until Sunday around lunch, maybe a little bit longer because I don't have to go out of town to work anymore for right now, so I can stay a little longer on rides. Unless I get called out on storm, but we'll see how that goes. But if you're there and you see this video, comment on it or something. Uh, maybe we can meet up and ride. We'll be there all weekend. We got my 520, his 520, and here. Just did a nice just water in the oil. Just, yeah, just had a little bit of water in the oil. Extra you know? lubrication. <laughs> it's good for the gears. So, got this thing flushed. New oil, new oil filter. Got it put back together. He's got, a, hopefully, he didn't forget his freaking clamp no, for, for the radiator hose. I brought a whole assortment of them. All right, well, we got to get that put back on and uh, get a few other things tidied up. I got to get my skip plate book put back on, and then we're going to be on the road. Ladies in there getting clothes and food ready. So, like I said, if y'all see us, let us know. Comment. We'll ride. So, I'm going to end this video here. Then I'm going to pick up the other video for Fat Daddies. Right after this, I got to go get another SD card because this one's about full and I've got videos galore to upload. I've just been so busy with work and working on folders and other things. I haven't had, had a chance. Hadn't had good internet. So, hopefully starting this weekend, I can get back into uploading more. And uh, to everybody that's subscribed, I know I'm about to break 2,000 subscribers. Thank you. Um, you know. I never thought I'd, I'd start growing like this. I mean, I ain't been doing it a year yet and I'm already about to break 2,000 subscribers, which is kind of crazy, kind of weird. And I went to the beach and I know some of y'all noticed me. I gave out a couple stickers. Which is, it's, it's awkward at first, but, and of course, videoing like this is kind of awkward, but it's pretty cool. I enjoy meeting people and riding with people and you can't, you can't have a better, you know, relationship with people when you meet people that ride. Everybody's always super nice and willing to help, so it's fun. I appreciate um, it comment like subscribe you know come see us sometime we're always riding i'll make another video on the snorkel and then i'll give y'all kind of the dates of other rides we're going to be going on and maybe y'all can meet up with us and ride with us and give us some good content for youtube you know sink a couple four wheelers maybe not i don't know <laughs> uh, all right y'all comment like subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next one